Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will present you also a Java project and let's go in the code to see how it's... now I will present you first the functional part of course, like every website you can go to register, you can go back to login these are normal things let's log in as an administrator we can see that the administrator part is created with JSF, Java Server Faces, because it looks very nice and we can also change the modification of the user, the account type, the account status also we can receive the password and then automatically this user will receive a message with the updated password we can also delete the user ok, let's go back we can also now log in as a professor because this site is divided into three parts and we can see here that we can create a formulary we can create a formulary from example new formulary ok we create the formulary then we can also choose a category for this question and also we can select a header for the question then we can go to continue we can now type the question from example if it is numeric it means this question will have radio buttons we can type the questions did you enjoy the tutorial from youtube ok, we can create the question and then also it helps it ask us if we want to create or to delete the question we say that we want to create the question and now we go back to create um, other questions if we have finished then we can go back and then we can see our new created formulary and we can continue with this formulary and um, we can also delete this formulary or we can assign this formulary to a user assign user to this formulary because if we we'll go back to see that on this formulary to see all the user assigned to this formulary a user can be a, a kid from the high school we can see that assign user to this formulary force because this formulary has no user assigned to it and we go to assign user to this formulary we assign from example all the user or just one user and use user assigned to this formulary and we can see that the message is that the assignment was successfully done for this user now we can see the all the user assigned to this formulary and we see this one and also we can see the answer if this user has already answered to this formulary let's see the user answer so this formulary it's not completed by the user yet and we can also delete this assignment ok and we can also make some customizing from for a specific formulary because every professor can change his password ok but uh, also a professor can make some configuration regarding the formulary how he want to look a formulary how want to be the header how many header does he want you can create you can delete header also the category you, and these are specific for every professor and then we can log out because we have seen all the functionality that a professor can done we can log out as a user and we will see that we have this this um, formula no, we have no formula here here we can just change exchange change the password, not exchange it and here we can go to choose a formula to complete it and for example we choose this formula which was assigned for the professor and now after we have assigned 
we we have choose this formulary with JavaScript. We see that now the button is enabled. We go to complete the formulary, and now we can see that the question is here. Also, the professor who created this formulary, also the address, the email address of the professor, the title of the formulary, the date, and also we can see that we can choose this question and then we can send the answer after we send the answer we can go back to choose other formulary if we have them or now the professor can log out and to see the user answer from example we select the formulary as a professor we go to see all users assigned to this formulary and then we just choose the user to see the answer and this page will open and we see the answer of the user so this was we can, uh, we can also see the formulary how it looks like I forgot to show you this show formulary this is and here we can see how it looks like and we can also create a PDF ok now we log out and we can go to the code we can go to see that also this is a JSF page we can see how it looks like And we see that we have also a bin, login bin for this page. This means that this bin needs to be declared in the faces config XML as a bin. We can see the manage bin here. All the bins are here also in the code. We can see them. The manage bin, also the navigation rule, we can see them and also the navigation rule we can see them in the code looking on the first navigation rule from example that from register we can go to the login or from the login we can go to register to admin page to prof page and to the user page and also we can see how this part looks like sign login in it looks like this when we take the answer we see where we go and then we have also a filter that protect our protected resource which is this one we need to be logged in to can access this page and here we make the verifies the checks because if we don't have this filter if also if the user know the Pet, it can access our page and we don't want this because just if we are login we want to access this okay another thing that I can show you it's it is that uh, okay I have the beans but uh, I have used a web service for every interaction with the database I just wanted to use this web service because and how we can create a web service we need to download a CXF web service in our case and then just to add the path in this case it's this one and then we make our methods from example here we have this method and then accordingly to this method and to other methods that we have them here we just go to the web service create web service and then we will obtain this VSDL folder and then we can also <coughs> from here we can generate a client and the client was this project was generated into this project it has a strategy button, button up and top down client and here we see that I have made some value objects and this is the data xx object and 
for every interaction with a database I use this web service from example let's go to the login bin and here we can see that we take the port which I store it in this proxy and then accordingly to what method do I want I call the method I pass the parameter and then I receive through the web service I feel this object and this is for also for other interaction with the database and also we can see here that for the connection I have used the uh, uh, initializer context listener we can see it, that it is in this package and this if we implement this service context listener interface then we will go first time when our web service is uh, is deployed on the server and here I've just choose to store the database reference uh, the database connection and then I use this connection from the from this static attribute I take the connection because it is in session and then I make the operation with the database also another interesting thing that I want to show it is that I have created two different servers the first server is the default one if we will see we have the admin port and also the HTTP one they are the same, they are default but for the application we cannot store also the application also the the web service into the same web service because we have this initialized context listener and we want to run it separately on a server and this application is stored into another server and we can see here that I have changed some data the port I have incremented by one the HTTP and also this property I have incremented by one okay and then I've deployed the web service on the first server and the application into the second server and pretty much this is all also in the context destroyed method we go just if uh, the application is removed from the server yes I have also created some exception class that I use it for this I have inherited from the exception class I have also some utilities methods that can help me with some encodes and decodes also here this is a string to from regular expression to validate if an uh, email address is good or not and pretty much here in the lib we have put these jars the MySQL connector, Java X servlet and CLF 4J API and then in the client application I have put these iText jars and also the JSF jar and also the prime face component also we can see that in the utility package we I use this to property file this is for the English translation this is for the German translation if the user selects German or English we can see that we have also utility class and pretty much this is all regarding this ah, I can show you also the database it will be a good idea
here we can see the database and how the tables are linked to the foreign keys and for this one we don't have any foreign key yeah we can see that it is lots of foreign keys because we need to retain some data and because when we want to save a formulary we need to know the ID of the user then the ID of the formulary then if we create a question we need to know the ID of the user and the ID of the formulary then we have created the question then if we want to create a header we need to know the ID of the question of the user formulary and also a category list we need to take it from the category table and the header table okay also interesting thing it is that I have used in the user part I think I have used jQuery library to answer to the question because I need to make some validation dynamically and for this I don't know if a text field, if I have a question as a text field if it is filled or not and because of this I call a javascript file where I use the jQuery library and I call this method here I call this function and here I take all the the elements from the page which has the the class like this I take all of them because just an input field has this class then I loop over this array and then I check if the value of the element is empty or not if it's empty then I raise an error and this function I call it I call it here on the submit it's called like this a jQuery JavaScript function so I have also a JavaScript file when I disable and enable a button and this is a jQuery library so I think I have complete everything pretty much if you have questions you can write me if not I wish you a nice day bye